Hi there, my name's Tom, and in today's short video, I'll be showing you how to use the Sangoma S206 handset. I'll show you the controls, how to make phone calls, how to receive incoming calls, and also how to hold and transfer calls too. So in front of us, we've got the S206 handset. Now I'm just going to start by going through all the keys on the phone. So here to start with, we've got the traditional keypad. We've also got a star and a hash key here. Moving up onto the left, we have got the transfer key at the bottom. We have got the voicemail key here, so you have a voicemail set up, that's how you can access them there. Here is the headset key, so if you want to plug a headset into the side of the phone, you can plug one in, you press this button and it will allow you to take calls through the headset rather than the receiver. And here you've got the mute key, so if you press the mute key when you're on a call, it will allow you to be able to hear them, but they won't be able to hear you. And if you want to take it off, you simply just press the key again. Moving up here, you've got two line keys. You've got one on this side and on the left, and you've got one on the right hand side here. These just allow you to see what call at what line the call is coming on. And moving up, you've got these four heat keys here. These are shortcut keys, and they relate to what's on the screen. Um, the screen is there to help you. It's just like using a smartphone nowadays, the screen can change whether you pick up the handset or whether not. At the top right here, you've got an indicator key that will light up whether you've got a call coming in, it will flash green, or if you're missing a voicemail, it'll flash red. Moving down the side of the phone here, you've got your volume keys and your speaker key. If I press the speaker key, it puts the phone onto speaker mode, you can change the volume here, and if you want to change the volume of the receiver, you can pick the receiver up and you press the volume keys again. Now this key here is the redial key which allows you to have a look through the recent calls you've made and just quick dial them back as quick as possible. And now I'm going to explain the keys that are in the center of the handset. So here you've got your menu key that you can use to select things. Here you've got your scrolling key, so up, down, left and right, like you would on a smartphone. And here you've got your cancel key, so if you made a mistake when you type in a number, you press this key and it'll delete that number. So now I'm going to show you how to answer a call and how to put a call on hold. As you can see, when a call comes in, the line key lights up to whichever line it's coming in on and the indicator uh, light at the top here will flash green when the call is coming in. To answer the call, all you do is pick up. Now if you wanted to put this call on hold, all you need to do is press the hold key here. This will enable them to, you won't be able to hear them and they won't be able to hear you on here. And if you want to bring the call back, all you need to do is press resume here and the call will come back. Now this is where it differs to the mute key. If you were to press the mute key, you can still hear them, but they can't hear you. And to take that call back, all you need to do is press the mute key again, and you've got the client back there. So now I'm going to show you how to transfer a call. There are two types of transfer. There is a blind transfer, where you can transfer to someone and just put it through without speaking to them. Or there is an announced transfer, where you can speak to the person first, if whether they want to take the call or not. So first of all, I'll show you how to do a blind transfer. Now you pick the call up like normal, to do a blind transfer, all you need to do is press the transfer key up here, type in the extension you wish to transfer to, and you press the transfer key here. This will push the call through. And all you need to do then is put the phone down and the transfer is complete. Now I'm going to show you the most common type of transfer. This is where you want to speak to the person whether they want to pick up the call or not. To do this transfer, you pick up the call like normal. You press the transfer key like last time, Enter the extension number you wish to dial. Instead of pressing the transfer key again, you press send. You can then speak to the person on the other side whether they want to take the call or not. And if they want to take the call, you simply put the handset down. If they don't want to take the call, you can bring it back by pressing the line key here. So for this instance, they wanted to take the call, we just put the handset down. Hopefully you will have found this short video useful. If you would like more information, or if you'd like to see more videos just like this one, please visit our website at www.time-tele.com and all of our day-to-day -day contact details can also be found here too. So thanks for watching and goodbye.